Hello people, Carlito here. Once again, um, second video of the day, and for those of you who saw the first one, you'll know that I was talking about sneak peeks. Um, the latest sneak peek has just come out, and it's really actually quite interesting. So it's another hero ability, not for the queen to be left out, and her ability is the royal cloak. Now, what that will do is make her invisible to defenses, for a short period of time. Don't know how long that is. Um, interestingly, what that will mean is that if she's being targeted by a defense, a cannon, for example, which is one of the things that really irritate me when the t cannons target the queen and kill her, um, is that once she's invisible, the cannon will target something else. And often that's all you need to um, give the queen enough time to not die while, while she's being targeted by the cannon. Other troops can come in, give us some reinforcement, and then um, the queen can finish the battle without too much damage if you've used her smartly. Um, so that's the way I play that kind of way. I'll clear out as many defences as possible, then I'll release the queen to do a bit of a mop-up um, and target things like wizard towers and, and mortars. But sometimes the odd archer tower or the odd cannon will target her from a distance, um, and that's often the end of her game. She'll often die. So if I could make her invisible and the archer tower or the, the cannon would target something else, that could be enough time for me to deploy some um, support troops to, to kill that particular defensive structure or, or distract that defensive structure and I could go on with the attack. So um, as I say, really, really interesting and I think that is going to be something that will probably be more useful for, for someone like me than the King's ability, which is the um, the Iron Fist, and I'll talk a bit about the Iron Fist after this um, this Archer Queen because I didn't really do it much justice before. So, um, in addition to the to the Queen, she's also going to spawn some new units. It looks as though these are going to be archers that will fire fire arrows. Um, if it's anything like the King's ability, these archers will be at the same level as your existing archer troops. So, hopefully. Um, that that stays uh, the, the same and we'll see if you've got level 6 archers you'll see level 6 being spawned um, and again like the king it starts at level 5 so once you've got your queen to level 5 you'll have the ability to use this um, new 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 ability the ability to use an ability you know what I mean and uh, every 5 levels from then on the ability will get better so level 10, level 15, level 20 and so on so really excited about this um, and it'll be interesting to see how it unfolds. Now I'll go back to the king because as I say I didn't really talk about what this Iron Fist was in the last video. So basically what the king will now be able to do is um, spawn some barbarians and they'll be released behind them. Um, so once you've deployed your king you, pr you press again and press the icon again and it will activate his um, Iron Fist ability that will make him rage. Um, you can't stack it so you can't rage and then drop a rage spell or you can't drop a rage spell and then rage the king and get double the effect. But him, he'll be raged, his barbarians that get spawned will be raged and also any barbarians that you've deployed that are in that vicinity and we don't know how big the vicinity is going to be but they'll be raged as well. So as you can imagine this will be very useful for cracking into bases, once you're in the centre destroying lots of dis um, defensive structures really quickly. Because of the high levels, as you might know, the king will um, easily one-shot uh, quite a lot of defensive structures. So very interesting, very interesting indeed. <coughs> Bye from the king, <coughs> Bye from the queen, and I'll see you soon.